and Skarner. I think that's fine. Skarner is probably the best jungler at the moment, so it's a good ban for blue side. I mean, red side to get the knight from blue. First pick, Scion. Holy cow, okay. They can flex that mid, potentially. Yep, that is my actual power pick I was mentioning here. Oh, Fiora does actually come out. Now this, huh. this is when you want to flex you the flex Scion mid. mid. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Boy, I think that's boy. actually such a good bait. What if it's AP Gragas mid? Oh boy, yeah, then, oh boy, this could there be There we it. go, there's the flex. The thing is, they're all AD. There is the flex. Oh, this is what I was waiting for. Yeah, uh, they're all AD is actually uh, a problem. Wait, it's a double wait. flex. Oh, it's support. Oh my god, they're actually 10,000 IQ. Oh my god. 10,000 IQ from Newcastle Jaguars. Whoever's drafting for them, give them a fucking medal. Ward's gonna see him in river, but it might be a bit too late. Artorius Artorius should go into the turret. Doesn't get a chance to get away. We are seeing play in the bot lane. Fax gets away on minuscule HP. Has to be in both Sums and the Tommy to get out. So actually across the map. And Newcastle Jaguars are winning in both areas. If Newcastle just maintains this pressure and this momentum. Oh, Shockwave uh, comes really down on the Fax. Flash is available on Ori. Oh, and he gets the combo. Flash win from Fax. Oh, Held the heal so though. Mean. Yeah, Olaf gonna ult to run forwards. Not able to do much. And a shockwave one shot! Fax! Deleted by Carney! I mean, if it stops hitting Tom Kench, hit the tower, you stupid cannon! <laughs> okay, doing it. Ult comes out from the Sivir. Looks like Nico Sagios are going for the game. XL are trying to stop, but the damage is there! And they will close it out. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I think Jags played this game out so well. I think that from the get-go, the draft was good, the game plan was good, they executed on that game plan, their vision was great, their control objectives was great. They're gonna try to take this tower, that's good. Oh, Skarn is zooming in with the Predator, grabs on top of the Syndra, heal will be used, but the stun follows up. Has the flash, but not able to get out here. I don't oh, but think... TP comes in top lane, from the Cho'Gath, looks like... Enclave are going to contest this. Ult comes down this from Rakan, knocks up two, and knock back on the Sejuani. We'll get him further into the fight, and Skarna will fall without his ult. Meganar comes in, slams the Zaya into the wall, and it looks like the Newcastle Jags are winning this fight. Cho'Gath goes down, and the Herald is hitting the next tower. Ace in the hole, lands on the Rakan, and it's yeah, I mean, three it's, down. It was Talia and Skarna oh, all Wall just come in to cut the balance of the team off. Skarna's walking round. Zaya's gonna try and go aggressive. Doesn't get the ult off and does manage to pull it off, but a 1 HP is taken out. And the Sejuani's left in the middle of four and ends up going down as well. But Khan escapes, oh. but that is not a good trade for Enclave Dusk. They're in too soon. They're not. I know they, they're trying oh, to recommit. Knock back from the Talia. Kate's gonna flash forwards. What? And takes out the Syndra. And this is what they need. They can stop Baron now. Scoots are calling on the other side of the map. This. And Zaya is just not strong enough with this Rakan. Like, I don't think Syndra can one shot anyone. Oh, the not ult knocks everyone what? into the side of New Cycle Jaguars. They all collapse in. The Caitlyn takes out the Syndra, takes out the Rakan. And Alex is left alone in the middle of two. Stunned up, locked up, unable to do anything. Man, I got, yeah, out quite a bit. Really good. And it looks okay. like Zaya is going to get taken down, as is Sejuani. That is most likely going to be game. Unfortunately. And uh, Newcastle Jaguars will continue their undefeated streak. Congratulations. And commiserations to uh, Enclave Dusk. So, if Phelan won their game, it's them versus Phelan? You would think. I think so. It should be. That'll be a good, I won't watch that. will be a really good game. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's also Nolte needs to do, be, be doing a better job establishing vision control for his team. Because there should never be a situation where literally the entire map is just swayed. Oh, Ult oh, comes out from the Swain. The Flash is there, so he might look for it. Does I Flash. Don't think you can kill him. Guess you're wrong. Oh, I'm wrong. Fundle <laughs> I... so holding the ult. Does pop it. Ada's coming in. Uses the W to get close. Puts the damage on Akani. Team fight continues. Olaf's gonna run on the Trist, but she flashes away. Olaf is running low on HP, but does take out the Trist with the burn. Malkal comes in and it's gonna lock up the whole team. Sivir is here, follows, and it looks like he'll drop as well. They should contact. I think I this is a like team fight they can win. Trundle's up yeah, with TP soon. 
Oh, unfortunate from Ada gets caught out and punished. Doesn't look like they're going to be actually win this fight out. This is dangerous for Phelan because they can just force you, and that's what they're Good doing. Good jump buffer, but Trist is going to get caught up. Gets locked up by everything that goes down. The crit for the seven comes in, and that's enough. And without the Trist, it's impossible. I don't think he wins this. No, yet. I don't think he wins this. I mean, that's just... Oh, they stun up the Sivir. Oh my... Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, so close. 